Okay, so it looks like the government's going to reopen, but now all attention turns to immigration. You've advocated to Speaker Ryan that they fix DACA last year, so now the clock starts again. What Describe to me what's going to happen with DACA. Well, first of all, let's take a step back, and let's just look to see what happened. For three days, the Democrats have shut this government down, and they shut the government down for political purposes, for an issue that is not related to funding the government. The American people have said, enough is enough, we don't accept this open up the government, and that's why I think you've seen a change of heart. Yeah. But on the issue of DACA now, what's going to happen? Well, we're going to move forward. We have uh, had discussions. We've been having ongoing discussions about getting DACA reform. Listen, I am from California. This is a very important issue. In California, in my district, I want to make sure that we have a solution, and I want to make sure we have a solution by March 5th. Do you think DACA is amnesty? No, I do not believe DACA is amnesty. So when your colleagues or when folks that are advising the president suggest that it is, your response? My response is these are children who are brought to this country, no fault of their own. This is the only country that they know. We should not send them out of our country. We need to make sure they're taken care of. On the issue of the business community, they've made their case known on this. They uh, frequently make that case, the case that you just made as well. We're hearing from the statements coming in from Democratic lawmakers questioning why Minority Leader Chuck Schumer made that deal with Leader McConnell. Should Democrats trust Leader McConnell when he says that they're going to take up DACA? This is a very big issue, and I do not believe that Mitch McConnell would have gone on the floor of the Senate and said to the American public, we are going to handle this issue and we're going to take this issue up. I have all the confidence in the world he will. And when folks suggest that the president has not been negotiating enough on the issue of the government shutdown, do you agree with that? Do you disagree with that? I do not agree with that at all. Um, the, gov the president wants to make sure that we have a solution to DACA, and he is very committed to making sure we have a resolution. Do you think that he's going to be more inclined to for, for your point of view or for more con for folks who argue that DACA is amnesty? I believe that we're going to look at what the more conservative folks want as well as what the more moderate folks want, and I think we're going to come to a comprehensive solution, and I think it's going to be a solution that both sides can live with. A minority, what, what I thought was interesting in the comments, Congresswoman, that we've heard from within the past hour from Minority Leader Schumer was that he said, point blank, on the Senate floor, he believes there's a path forward on the issue of DACA with the minority party and with moderate Republicans, centrist Republicans, again, making the case that the business community has made. Should the president take that course of action on DACA or should he try to, to play political referee with Republicans? We have to have border security. If we're going to have a DACA fix, we have to make sure our borders are secure. And I think that's one of the fundamental differences right now. I think that the Republicans want to make sure our borders are secure. And I'm not sure that our friends on the other side of the aisle think that that's as high of a priority.